Today we're installing some heavy duty steer smarts in the front of the Hella Yella Giveaway Wrangler. Stay tuned. And welcome back to another video in the 2021 Hella Yella Giveaway Wrangler build. And today we're going to be installing heavy duty tie rod and drag link assemblies from Steer Smarts. And installing aftermarket heavy duty steering components is a great way to keep control of your new Jeep, whether it be the Wrangler or the Gladiator, especially after you've added a lift and bigger tires. Now these parts are easy to install and you can do them right in your own driveway or garage. So let's get the old ones out first and put the new ones in. Well, the first thing we need to do is start by getting the steering stabilizer out of the way. And then we can go with our tie rod assembly. Now, if you've got a lot of miles on your Jeep, a lot of corrosion, you may find that once you get that nut up, that it doesn't drop right out like this brand new Wrangler does. Everything's seized in there. What you wanna do is just run that nut up, make sure you still have it engaged by a couple threads. And then you're gonna take a hammer and you're gonna give it one heck of a good wrap right on the side, nice and flat, not in an angle. You wanna get a nice flat hit here, here, and that should be enough to shock load it into dropping it down and the nut will catch the tie rod and keep it from falling out. Now for our drag link, same thing. There she is. There we go. Now after we got those factory tie rod and drag link assemblies out of the way, we installed one of the Steer Smarts track bar reinforcement and sector shaft brace brackets in there. And that's just to give that steering box a little more support. We're gonna be running 37s and using this off-road. All the support we can give the steering will just make this thing handle and drive much better. Now we've already done a video covering that install, so hit the description box down below for a link to that video. Now these are the new assemblies from Steer Smarts. This is the heavy duty tie rod assembly and this is the heavy duty drag link assembly. And they're made right here in the United States. Now, if we compare them against the factory units, you can see it absolutely dwarfs the factory pieces. This is the Steer Smarts one and a half ton ball joint end, and this is the wimpy little factory stock ball joint end. The Steer Smarts ball joint end features an induction heat treated carbon alloy ball stud, and then they use a state of the art seal down and around that ball stud to make sure the grease stays where it's needed. And these are fully greasable for ease of maintenance. Now, because the Steer Smart parts are so much larger than the factory components, you gotta make sure that you have at least a 17 inch wheel to clear them. Now for our assembly, you have two different threads. One side is right hand thread, one side is left hand thread. You can tell the left hand thread has this extra groove right in the end. We're gonna grab a little bit of anti-seize and we want to run some inside the threads. And we'll put a little bit out here on the ball joint ends also. Now we're using a nickel grade anti-seize. You can use just about any one that you want. These bent ends is easiest if you just hang them off the end of the bench. Now we want to compare them with the factory units we pulled out. So if we measure 
center ball stud to center ball stud. This drag link on our Hella Yellow Wrangler is 40 and 7 eighths of an inch. And if we measure center to center on our Steer Smarts, oh, we're almost there. And 40 and 7 eighths. Now this is a bottom mount drag link assembly. Steer Smarts also offers a top mount assembly for those of you who have taller lifts. your ball stud straight or you can measure to the back side. We want to measure center. The center. On this one here we're at 59 and 9 sixteenths. And this one we've got a ways to go. Now one of the nice things about Steer Smarts using both a right and left hand thread on this is then we can just turn the center bar and it'll pull both ends in as you're adjusting. Let's take our measurement again. We're at 60. Put our taper washers in and just a little bit of blue Loctite. I can just put a small touch of anti seize on the taper washers because we are going up against an aluminum knuckle. This goes on our washer and then our nut. All right. Now one of the problems with the Steer Smarts is you don't have the bracket on there for the factory steering stabilizer. But we don't want to run the factory stabilizer anyway. They're small, they're lightweight, we want something a little heavier duty. So for our replacement steering stabilizer, we're gonna install a Falcon EF 2.2 fast adjust steering stabilizer. It's made by Falcon, it matches our shocks, and it's a fast adjust, so you can have it set at soft, medium, or firm. We're gonna start out with soft just to see what it rides like. Now once we remove the factory track bar bolt, we can slide in the Falcon track bar bolt. And then we're gonna take our fast adjust Falcon steering stabilizer and slide it on that new track bar stud. Oh, hey.
and the other side gets mounted to the new Steer Smarts tie rod assembly. Where we want to make sure the wheel mounting surfaces are straight. And now we're going to measure out the rod on either side of the Falcon stabilizer. This one's at four inches. And this one's at four and a quarter. We want to center that up. Four and an eighth. And four and an eighth. Make sure that everything is clearing, that as we travel up through the center here, <clears throat> well, there we go, 90. So again, we can go from soft to medium to firm. So that's why they call it the fast adjust. And this is a five millimeter hex key and we're torquing to 15 foot pounds. And then these two little guys right here in the center, those are locks. That's just to help lock this clamp to keep it from rotating. All right, so with the clamps, we gotta make sure that we aim the clamps so they're not hitting anything. So we could roll here. These we'd want to tuck up, maybe tuck on the back side. And we are torqued. You need to look from the front, the bottom, from the top, from the left to the right. You wanna make sure that there's nothing is going to hit. Now that steering stabilizer looks like it's just gonna clear the track bar. So we've locked it down, but we're gonna to need to get it out and flex it up and check everything again. So we got all those parts installed and then got it out on the road. Took it through some twisty turnies and then even got it on a wide apron, get some gravel into it, bounce around. And yes, the steering is tighter than the factory setup. I think we're ready for some 37s now. So the question is, are you ready for some heavy duty steering components from Steer Smarts? The heavy duty drag link assembly, the heavy duty tie rod assembly, or maybe that Steer Smarts track bar reinforcement bracket and steering sector shaft brace. Well, we have links for those down in the description box below. You'll also find a link for that Falcon Fast Adjust 2.2 steering stabilizer. You'll also find a link to where you can enter to win this Hella Yella giveaway Wrangler and then hit that comment section. What else could we do to beef up this steering? Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you in the next one.